dang, I don't know how to make this deal work. So I'm going to show you exactly how to spot and use uh, this patented calculator, this, this deal analyzer, this offer calculator, how I'm going to show you exactly how this solves that problem. Because if you do not know how to spot a deal and you're sending crap to your buyers, they're, they're not going to answer you. So let me show you guys exactly how to use this calculator. I've had a lot of you ask questions about this. So I'm going to break this down right now. All right, Nate, did you have something you want to say before we go in? Yeah. That? I, I just want to touch on guys like, Really think about how many sellers have you talked to? How many agents? How many deals have you looked at? And, you know, you maybe have negotiated, spoke with them a little bit, and you're just like, oh, like, maybe it's a deal. Like, maybe I could make like three grand or five grand or eight grand. Oh, but like, maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm really not sure. And yeah. sure everyone's facing it, right? Up. What's that? I'm sure everyone's faced that in here, right? You're just, Gosh, you're like, mm, I, mean, I don't know. If you're out there taking action. I, I know you've, I've, done, I've had that moment a million times. And it's, that is honestly the worst one. Like for me, the what ifs, like I'll take a no any day of the week. I'll prefer a no. I hate the maybes. I hate the what ifs. Those, oh my gosh, they keep me up at night. And and guys, when you start with the buyers and when you have a tool like the offer calculator, you're able to know like down to the penny. To the so there's no penny. what if, right? So imagine every time you talk to a seller and we talked about having that confidence, having that certainty, you know, when that seller says, no, I want 250 and you know, to the penny, you're like, look, I can offer 246. Like, I, I wish I could come to 250. You and you can explain why you can't. It's a good feeling. So Nate, let's dive right into this thing and show them how it's done. Yeah, yeah. So this is the answer to knowing exactly what to offer. All right. And it's I've we have one of our students that says he he thinks this is the easiest calculator. This is the easiest way, uh, uh, friendly, fr user friendly. Um, I guess breakdown offer calculator. You can deal analysis, whatever you want to say. This is the most user friendly he's seen. And I love that he says that because I agree with him. So let's dive right into it. So what this does, everyone, is it allows you, if you do not know how to run comps very well, you can take the estimate from batch leads, Redfin, Privy, Zillow. Those are the ones that I put in here. And it makes it takes it and does an average. So there's your average ARV if you're not that good. I teach you and um, you know I know how to actually find an exact ARV or like really, really dang close to it just through uh, practice. And that's a skill you have to learn. So all you do is you put in the information that you find. So let's say at this moment, you this let's just say, okay, we'll say it's 520 on the ARV. You're talking to a seller. Tell me if this conversation sounds familiar. You're talking to a seller and the seller says, um, hey, my neighbor down the street sold for 520. I know their house is fixed up and I'll give you a really good discount. My house needs a lot of work, but I'll sell it to you for 480. And you're, so they're like, I'm giving you a $40,000 discount. So you can take $40,000 and do your repairs and you'll still, you can probably make money because blah, blah, blah. Right. So they think they're giving you a great deal. How many times has that happened to you guys where you, they're giving you 50,000, 40,000, and they think they're giving you a steal of a deal. It happens all the time to me. So this is a calculator that breaks down what numbers flippers are looking at. So a flipper would look at this and he'd say, okay, I need to buy this house. I can resell this house at 520. If I buy it at 480, I'm going to have to borrow money because most 99% of uh, flippers use hard money. They're going to say, I need to borrow some hard money. It's going to cost me 12%, two points, uh, loan points to purchase, uh, to use the money. I need to bring 15% down so I can even get into this deal. And uh, so then it's, they have to come up with $72,000 in their own money. This flip, the, the seller said, uh, it wouldn't need that much work. Actually, it's going to take about five months because it needs a lot of work from buying it to listing it. You're also, they're going to have to pay commissions and fees. 3% to the listing agent, 3% to the buyer's agent. So that's 6%. If they can get a better deal on listing it, maybe 3%. If they, they can list it themselves. And then you have buy closing costs. So then you put the square footage. You say this house is 2,000 square feet. And this seller says, look, it's not a big deal. It just needs carpet and paint. So you would say, okay, it's a basic. If it needs kitchen and bathrooms, it's medium. And if everything is down to the studs. So you'd say, okay, this lady's got a 2,000 square foot house. And it's a basic, $18 times 2,000. That's 36,000. 
Well, 2,000 square feet is pretty big. You're going to have to do a lot of work. So this seller thinking she's giving you a great deal, really, well, you just lost $65,000 as a flipper. Who wants to lose $65,000 on a purchase? <laughs> Nobody. So you, if, if any of you are doing your math and you're like, wow, I think I have a deal. She's giving me a great deal of uh, 520 and I got it at 480. That's not a deal. It's in the red. You need to be in the green. Okay. So what we do is we put in these numbers and it tells us exactly where we need to be. Okay. So here's the, the wholesale. This is for flipping. Um, if you were a flipper and this is the wholesale analysis. So all you do is you take the same numbers if you want. Um, and you put, you put them in there, 12, two, 15, seven and 2000. And let's see, let me go down here. You got it at 480. And let's say now you want, you're, you're a wholesaler and you want to make a fee. You're like, look, my wholesale fee, I want to make, um, I want to make uh, $15,000. So because you just wanted to make $15,000, the flipper is losing more money because you got to wholesale it to him. If you had it at 480, you got to wholesale it to him 495. He just lost 16% at, <laughs> on his investment. Terrible investment. So how do you make this work? Well, it's very easy. What price do you need to get it down to in order for it to make sense? Well, he's still 1%. That's 3,000. He's not going to make the money he wants. Is 350 going to make it work? I don't know. We're about to find out. 11%. Okay, now we're, now we're in the yellow. Somebody will take that. If you know your buyers, there are buyers that will take this. So he's going to make enough. You're going to make your fee. So when you talk to that seller and you say, hey, I know it's worth 520 if you fix it up, but I'm going to have to put 30,000 into this. It's going to take me about seven months to do. I don't know what the market's going to look like. And I have to pay money on, on my, uh, on the money I'm borrowing to flip this. And I got to make a profit. I can't do this for free. That conversation is so much better than, Hey, uh, my offer is 350. Does that work for you? And they're like, forget you. You're trying to screw me over. No, you're not. The math says it all. And if you learn how to do the math, you will get way more offers accepted. And this is the sales process that we go through. We literally run the numbers with, with sellers and we say, hey, this is your cash offer. You can also renovate it yourself. And if you don't want to renovate it because you don't have the money, we can also list it for you. We can do innovation or we can do creative terms. This spreadsheet fills out all the options and the offers and what the seller will make depending on your strategies. We don't just wholesale here. We call it paying this wholesaling, but we... Look for the best option for the seller. We do novations. We do burrs. We do rental, rentals. We have creative financing. So if you are making one offer to a seller, you're shooting yourself in the foot. You need more arrows in your quiver. Um, no, no, sorry. I think that's, yeah, that's the right saying. So you need to be able to know how to do this. Now, right now, I can't go over 100% of all the strategies. You, It's pretty self-explanatory. It tells you exactly what to do for innovations. Burrs explains it. The 1% rule is pretty self-explanatory. Even the creative. If you don't know how to do creative, it tells you what to do. for. So it's a return, a good return. But this will answer the question of what to offer and why you're not getting good deals. And you have to fill this stuff out before you send it to your buyers because you can't just take a profit property and say, mm, I think it's a good deal. Let me just send it to my buyer so he can comp it. No, you got to comp it, send him the screenshot, send him the information and say, Hey, I ran the numbers. It goes to, according to what your numbers are. Um, I think it's a deal that you'll buy. What would you offer on it? That simple. That is why the calculator, the offer calculator is so freaking powerful. And guys, and, and for the, another thing with the calculator is like, you don't have to spend an hour or multiple hours calculating all, you know, cause sometimes sellers are like, well, you know, I'm not sure if the cash cash option would work. And so you want to make other offers. This does that for you. Or maybe you, you might be at a point to where you don't even know those other strategies yet. And this allows, you know, presents you with multiple options for your seller, you know, at, at the blink of an eye. So right. again, we, we talked at the beginning of this call about time, like wasted time being a killer for people. Um, one, this allows you to have multiple options. Two, it allows you to do it fast, wicked fast. And uh, man, I don't even think you showed it, the, the part how it, uh, it puts together like a letter of intent and everything. Um, you don't even have to write it up. 
No, I didn't. I didn't show that. But let me. Uh, I'll go over that super quick. So give me a second. Um, yeah. So when you're making offers to agents, um, this thing will even put the 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 math like uh, your offer into a letter of intent where it will show you the terms of your um your creative deal it'll make a letter of intent for a uh, an agent that you can send this off to or to a seller so this i mean it, literally that's why we call it the offer calculator it's everything all in one this is what you need and if you don't have this then obviously you need a calculator or something that will help you present multiple offers because Again, if you're making one offer and, and crossing your fingers, hoping it will get done, well, good luck. It's not always going to work out. But if you have multiple offers, it'll work, all right? I promise you it's going to help you out.